good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we're back looking at the Swarm Woodwinds. We're going to play with some clarinets and some double reeds. But let's kick it off and get heavy with the brand new single from Hetriani. This is The Edge. Oh, fuck yeah. Triani. <laughs> what a way to kick things off. So that is his new single, The Edge. And I do believe uh, Matt Seven had a hand in that. It was drums and producing and mastering. It's a killer track. What can I say? That's the kind of quality people are kicking out around the traps here on the YouTubes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I hope you're doing well. If you are watching on Facebook, that would be a miracle because I don't simulcast live on Facebook anymore. But you can join the group there. Um, the show is broadcast daily. Hey, hit the like, share, subscribe. You don't have to do it yet. You can wait to see if I do anything useful and then decide then. Or you can hit the dislike twice. 
that works as well. Shows being simulcast on Twitch at twitch.tv slash howtoapp on iOS. And you can always, if you so decide, come over and join us on the Patreon. And every week, I master your songs and we do some really cool app giveaways. Speaking of app giveaways this week, got some really cool ones because we've got a bunch of these Swarm instruments that we've been looking at all this week. This is the third and final day of Swarm Instruments, tomorrow looking at a app called Polywave, and I've got some of those to give away on the weekend, heaps of giveaways, yeah, and you know what, we wrap up the uh, end of the week with this person who's in the chat right now, S.M. Borthwick, yes, more than just a guy with a guitar, absolutely, he'll be on the show this Thursday for you who are living in the past, Friday morning for me. And I'm really looking forward to that because it's long overdue. Known Scott for a long time. Uh, he's a super creative artist, not only with music, but with video. And um, it's going to be a rollicking good time. So I hope to see you all here for that particular show. Let's say hello to folks in the chat and then we'll jump in and show you a few things, shall we? Because that's what we do here on How to App on iOS. We talk about apps, music, video, all this kind of creative stuff and uh, try and help you hopefully do better yeah um hi joe glenn hi russ 88 89 good to see you um hello thomas christ yeah tom's show is starting a little bit later uh, on the weekend his you rock show but it's only for one week yeah only for one week folks because of this weird time zone difference like we moved forward a few weeks ago and now england moved back and now the u.s is moving back this week and then everything will be in sync after this weekend so don't fret i'm sure he'll be back to his normal time the week after we, we try and juggle these things around so everything kind of works but time is against us if you know what i mean so si, effing good to see you it is effing good to see you because i didn't think you'd make it because size on holidays today but he's tuned in who knows how long his wi-fi is gonna last hello to the bear good to see you bear hello who else do i have in the chat as a, a scroll down of the list of people uh dean thomas always a pleasure never a chore my friend uh jamie do Gary Hubs, how you going, my friend? Hetriani, whose track you just heard. Good to see you, my friend. Great track. Uh, SM Borthwick is here. Andy Goldsby's here. Um, who else? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I really need that music. Scrolling, get your wheel at scrolling, raw hide. Uh, have I got everybody? I think I've got everybody. I think I've covered everybody. If I haven't, if I've missed you because my eyesight shit. Kim Harden Hudson. Did I see Kim Harden Hudson? Hello. Welcome aboard. Oh, did I see Pete Johns? Pete Johns is here, everybody, for a drive-by. <laughs> drive-by Pete. <laughs> hashtag everybody. Hashtag drive-by Pete. That's his new name for this show. Um, all right. Let's talk about Swarm stuff, because we're going to cover the last six instruments in the pack today. What I want to show you first is, I've been working on... Now, you don't shoot people, you just drive by, you drive in and out, Pete. It's just, you just drive in and out. It's it's just an effect, man. <laughs> You're a gun. That's what I'm saying. Have I got out of it yet? You're a gun, Pete. <laughs> All right, so I've been working on this utensils track, and I've been using a couple of Swarm instruments, Yeah. Shall we have a look quickly? So, um, for those of you who know my utensils music, would know that the last track I did was fairly methodical and evil, which was the impending doom track. Well, I'm back in GarageBand and working on this track. And let's just say this is a little different. <laughs> this is uh, one of the tracks for the new utensils I'm working on. Shall we just play it? I'll tell you what I've got in here. I've got some heavy brass. I've got uh, from the heavy brass app. I've got a brass ensemble. I've got some drums. I've got a tenor sax and a bass clarinet. And uh, <laughs> shall we have a listen? Let's do it. Thank you. 
there you go. So with every utensils album that I do, I take it in a completely different direction. If you go back and listen to all the utensils albums, they're all like a completely different band. And this is the new one. So, yeah, I think so. Um, Bavarian Oompa music on acid. That sounds cool. So there will be metal guitars in there, a bit of screaming. Kind of influenced by Mr. Bungle, a bit of Frank Zappa. This one's going to be a bit out of, out of the ballpark. Pretty crazy stuff. But that, as you can hear, I'm using in this um, some bass clarinet. Um, we got... Getting that real snake charmer kind of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this is a work in progress. I thought I'd just share it because I've been. I'm, there's going to be a whole lot of. I'm going to build a whole orchestra with that song using Swam instruments. So it's going to be really fun. All right, let's jump in today, shall we? And uh, we'll kick off with. Uh, shall we kick off with? Let me find our instruments here. So uh, what I want to show you first is how to open one of these and uh, hook it up with GeoShred. If you don't have a keyboard, you don't have a MIDI controller and you have GeoShred, remember there's a free version of GeoShred that you can download and you can actually control this stuff using GeoShred. So what about we grab the oboe here? So I'm gonna open up this oboe. Now to be able to hook this up as a standalone so remember, we're in standalone um, version here. We're not using it as an AUV3. There's a something you have to do to enable this to be able to use it in GeoShred. And I shall show you right now. So we're going to go over here to our little uh, three dots up the top and down to settings and then options. And we need to enable this. Enable virtual MIDI ports. And it tells you once you've done it, you need to reset this app so we'll go out of here now we'll shut it down we'll uh flick it away and now we'll reopen it so it was the oboe and now that it's reopened i can play with my keyboard if i so desire yeah i haven't got my foot pedal happening Why is that not plugged in? Um, I don't know. Oh, I know what, because I've changed the settings. <laughs> so now that it's all hooked up, hello, uh, Ed Zelinsky. So now that this is all hooked up, I can close out of this and I want to do a search for GeoShred, yeah? So just go do a search, GeoShred, GeoShred Play. So let's open this up. So all I did, Russ, was change one thing. I changed one thing, bro. One thing. Right, and all you need to do once you get into GeoShred is up the top here, you want to select this setting here, MIDI out. And then once you select MIDI out, you select here and choose Swarm. Now that we're in Swarm, look at that. How cool is that? So you can actually... And you've got, what's really cool about GeoShred is you've got all of that expression built in. So if you don't have a keyboard with an expression pedal and all that, you can. And if we click up here to the top to our finger expression, you'll notice if I move my finger up the C, all your expression is in here. Super easy to use. And you've got your modulation. So you don't even need to do modulation because you, 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 you're doing it here. But you've got your flutter. So you've got expression up the top here. So I can control the flutter as well. And you can slide around as well. Turn off that. So 
So pretty cool, yeah? So this is in standalone version, yeah? Um, that's in, in standalone. Now, I, I do believe you can record this. So you can record this in GarageBand. So you could open up um, a session of GeoShred in GarageBand. And as long as it's connected, as long as you've got the app open, like I showed you, then you can do the, you can control that in here. But let's get out of this. We'll cl shut that down, get rid of it. We'll go back in, uh, so we'll shut this out as well. And now I'm going to jump into AUM. Because you can actually control it in AUM as well. It's a little bit different. It's not much of a, a, a big step. So we've got here, we'll kick off with, uh, what have we got? So up here, we have our clarinet, uh, which is already something that uh, you can pay for within GeoShred. So you can do this with all the SWARM apps as well. So we've got our clarinet hooked up here. Now, when we click on this little hamburger thing here, if you go down here, you'll see GeoShred. So I'm selecting GeoShred to control this. And now if I head over to GeoShred here in, and create an, another track here, add GeoShred, open it up. So there it is running now in AUM as well. Pretty cool, yeah? Pretty ace. I love it. Wicked, wicked good stuff. So there you go. You can control this with using GeoShred as well. So we'll get rid of GeoShred for now. That's just a little, just wanted to show you that you can do that in case you don't have a, a, a keyboard. All right, so let's jump in first. We'll kick off with the clarinet today. So these are double reeds uh, we're looking at today and um, two clarinets. And the two clarinets come in a pack as well, so you can buy them as a bundle. And the four reeds, double reeds, come in to, uh, a pack as well. So you've got a bassoon, a contra bassoon, an English horn, and an oboe. Oboe, sit, oboe, sit, good dog, woof. Um... <laughs> So what I'm going to do here is click on this little hamburger here. And I want to turn off GeoShred because now I want to control this with my keyboard. So I'm going to choose my Arturia keyboard and I'm going to choose my iRig Stomp for the expression pedal. So now when I open this up and move my expression pedal, which it's not doing for some reason. Why is that? <laughs> why is that happening? Um... Let me see why that's happening. You know what? Let me do this. This will fix it. One sec. Boom. And let's do this. And boom. So let's uh, make sure this is working now. There we go. We've got our expression pedal working. I just needed to plug it in again. Yeah. Good stuff. So now you can see my expression pedals moving. So I'm controlling that with my foot. And here we are with our clarinet. And once again, I want to get this growl button here down the bottom. I want this to actually, I want to control this with my keyboard. So, what do we do? We go over here to MIDI and see how it's not the right color. So, if I click on this, now I can hit learn. And now I can turn this knob here. And now you can see it's being controlled by this knob here. So, now I can control the growl. So that's enough. So let's just play something, shall we? Yes, we've got some more jazz for you today. <laughs> Are you ready for some more jazz? Is that okay? Are you all going to be okay with that? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Come on, more jazz. Just for us.
<laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Good fun. And I can't play for shit, man. So, you know, it's this is how good these apps are. They make you sound like an absolute legend. So that is the uh, clarinet. Beautiful stuff. And once again, if we just go through some of the sounds, uh, so the different clarinets, just to give you an idea of the different uh, t t tombres. <laughs> Russ. You're going to get a slapping, Russ. You know what we're going to do? We're going to have Russ on the show and we're going to have a uh, jazz off. <laughs> uh, let's go through the rest of these. So I've got black hole on all of these too, just to give it a little bit of uh, extra sound. We can turn that off. Because all of these have <laughs> a jag off. Did I call you <laughs> a jag off? I don't think I mentioned audible video. <laughs> so there are effects in here as well. <laughs> if you want to scroll through, you do have like early reflection gain. You do have reverbs in here. Yeah, so that's cool as well. So let's jump out of that. We've just briefly gone through some sounds. Let's jump over and have a listen to the bass clarinet. So you can hear straight away. Yeah, there's a really beautiful deep tone to this bass clarinet. sound now I've already key mapped all of these so we've got our growl Let's see what this sounds with the, the jazz thing that we did from yesterday let's bring that one in yeah because uh, audible was so was happy with the, the faster stuff so let's Whoops, I didn't mean to hit play there. So really beautiful, rich tones with this. Uh, where's my expression pedal? Let's go down. Again, like all of these, they all have uh, different variations. So a much warmer one there.
almost sounds like a didgeridoo. So go back and uh, have a look at the past two previous shows if you want to have a look at all these options down the side here. We've covered this in depth over the last couple of shows. I don't have a lot of time today because I know Pete Johns is following after this. So got to get through all these sounds as much as we can. So that is the bass clarinet. So that is there's two apps within that bundle. You can grab that bundle. Um, all the prices if you head over to the App Store. Now remember, they're all on sale. All of these are on sale for a short period of time. They will go up an extra 10 bucks. so now's the time to get them. Or if you're a Patreon, you can come over and join for uh, $5 or over, and this week we're giving away a whole bunch of them. Let's move over to the bassoon. This is the bassoon. <laughs> Such beautiful sounds. And you can see just by the way I'm playing with the velocity again, just by hitting the keys super soft. You can really hear that breath noise in there as well compared to playing hard. can we play to this? Do I, uh, I think I have that stupid acoustic. fun. No, I can't play that, Russ. Uh, you'll have to uh, ask uh, someone else to play that. <laughs> Man, what side of the bed did you fall out of <laughs> this morning, Russ? <laughs> Fucking smart ass. Um, which is my favorite MIDI keyboard. Out of the two that I own, um, I love my little Arturia Keystep 37. It's just really neat and compact and small, and it's just so much fun to play. This is, the, this is in my opinion, and, and I'm a shit keyboard player, but I, I think this has helped me learn uh, a, lot, a lot better compared to the big one I was on yesterday, my M-Audio, which is huge, 49 keys, and they're big clunky keys, and I struggle because I've never really played keyboard my whole life. I'm a guitarist and singer. Um, all right. Let's have a listen to the contrabassoon. Yes, this is the contrabassoon. So you can hear there's a bit more of a like a tight rubber bandy kind of. Almost like a like a, a, a string kind of.
So this is the contrabassoon. So let's have a listen to them uh, apart from each other. Oh, I'm doing the bass clarinet. <laughs> let's, let's do this one. Let me bring the volume up. Beautiful. Let's uh, run through uh, the uh, s the difference in sounds. You can hear it really clear with the low end. There you go. Now, can you hear that? Can you hear the the, the key noises? And you can actually control these. You can turn up the key noises. Beautiful sounds. So a much brighter one here. Uh, you've got a you've got a couple of warms, a couple of brights. See, so this is the third warm. Those key noises there. So cool. So cool to give you that. And you can take those right out. You can pull right out the breath noises as well. So now when we use the uh, expression and play very lightly. Now if I turn the breath noise up. So I've got the expression all the way down. You can see over here, it's all the way down. And when I just press on a key, so there's no breath there. And I turn up the breath noise with the expression all the way down. You can hear that <laughs> clever stuff. Clever, clever stuff. So that is the uh, bassoon and the contrabassoon. The last two in the list here we have are the English horn. Go back to this uh, original jazz thing.
Good fun. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, good fun. So, really sounds nice, this English horn. See you later, Hetriani. Have a good one. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Ooh. Lovely jubbly. Let's hear the difference with uh, these horns. So again, we've got a bright. So yeah, this one, this English horn five, you can hear a lot more breath here. We do need more jazz with, uh, who's my jazz ensemble? I'll show you who my jazz ensemble is. This is uh, what's doing the backing for the, the music. I think it's this one, yeah. So it's these session band apps. So that's what I'm using for these. Um, what's really cool about these apps is you can just pick uh, some kind of whatever you want, really. You can go in here and choose something cool, like a little soft one here. So they're really fun. These things are great for just jamming along to. There's a whole lot of them. I've reached out to the developer. I Hopefully they'll send me, because I've got about 10 of them, but I hope they'll get the whole lot and we'll do a bunch of shows on these because there's rock ones, there's funk jazz, there's jazz, there's piano uh, solo stuff, acoustic guitar solo stuff. So there's plenty of, and, and they normally go on sale a bunch of times for like $2.99 and stuff. So this is what I'm using for the backing for today because it's just easy and you don't have to think about it. And I like not having to think, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So that is the English horn. Let's jump over and have a listen to the Ubu. One of my favorites is the Ubu. This is Le Oboe, as you can see. Um, I can put, uh, put some, what have we got here? Put this one.
And again, all of these can be controlled by multiple ways. Like uh, we've discussed, you can use the geo shred, use something like motion leap, even, let's jump over and do something like this. So, hello, big jamming since birth. Uh, so even something like this I have, hopefully I've got enough lead here. I think I do. Let's uh, move my keyboard back a bit. We'll disable this. Let's go over and jump over to the, uh, the clarinet. And if I go into these hamburger settings here and turn off the Arturia key step, I can actually choose, I have a nano pad here. So this I primarily would use for drums normally. Yeah, so this little thing here, this is my um, uh, little uh, Korg nano pad. But now you can see. <laughs> this is, so it's not on hard service. Maybe if I push this keyboard back, go back. And we can get this on a maybe a hard surface. There we go. Everyone likes a hard surface. And even this little touchpad here is controlling the uh, vibrato. So if we jump in here, you'll see. And I didn't even do any setup for this. It just works. Pretty cool, yeah? So there's lots of different ways you can actually use these and you can, by using this, just by pressing super light on these little pads, you can see the velocity compared to hitting it hard. So these are touch sensitive on this little pad here. Pretty damn cool. So there's plenty of ways to play this. Of course, you can load these into GarageBand. You can load them into Cubases. You can load them into whatever door you like. And you can play them to your heart's content. You can save the MIDI. You can actually also load them as interrap audio files and record as, as audio straight in. What do we do to wrap up today? So we've got about 12 minutes left. Um, let's jump out of here, shall we? Uh, we'll just And go back into GarageBand. If it's still open, I think it's still open. Um, let's start a new song. And we'll choose an external track. So this is how easy it is to uh, bring in one of these. So what do we do? Shall we do a uh, clarinet, clarinet? Uh, what about a bass clarinet? Uh, where are we? B, B, bass clarinet. Yeah, look, jazz into, into beat cutter. You <laughs> You know, and these sound really cool too, just piling on crap loads of effects in something like, we'll do that to end, yeah? We'll do something crazy to end. Hello, uh, Vortex. I hope you're doing well, Vortex. Uh, look at GarageBand, taking its sweet time. Tick tock, tick tock, what's going on, GarageBand? Oh, yeah. Alrighty, here we are. So, I can scoot this uh, this nano pad away and bring back my keyboard. And yeah, uh, as soon as you load this up, straight away your uh, your uh, GarageBand keyboard. Is ready to go so it's nice and easy to play but I'm going to use my keyboard 
And look at that, it's picking up my... Uh, if you like, fam, that's totally up to you. No pressure. I don't pressure people to do anything here. So, how cool is that? So, when you're in this screen too, if you know what a fall down is, yeah? So, used with trumpets and stuff like that. If I'm holding a note here, see this fall down? <laughs> I love that they've added some stuff like that in there as well. Pretty easy to record in here. There we go, let's play it back. <laughs> totally the wrong style. <laughs> stupid things. <laughs> Super easy to go in and edit to your heart's content if you so desire. So look, everything works beautifully. They're, they're fantastic apps. Throw beat cutter on it, perhaps. We could do that. Um, can't do it in here obviously but uh let's just jump out of here for a bit of fun let's pile on a bunch of crazy effects in uh aum before we go got a few minutes to go um what do we got here so the hey dan hey fam okay let's uh throw in i don't know room de Giro. I think that's all I'm going to play. And what do we do?
There you go. That is the Swarm apps. So 14 in, in total, $19.99 on sale at the moment. Absolutely worth your time. Hopefully this has helped you maybe decide which one or which two or which three is going to be the right thing for you or none of them because remember, apps aren't Pokemon and you don't need to collect them all. Just find the ones that make you happy because that's the most important thing. The things that are going to add something to your music. Alrighty, that's it for today. Tomorrow we are looking at Poliwave, which I've had for uh, about a week and playing with it. Super, super cool. Definitely, you will dig this app tomorrow. So make sure you hang out for that. It's being released tomorrow in Australia. It's going to be free. It has an in-app purchase, but it's fucking ace. Uh, thank you very much, Mobile Pro. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here. Hit the like if you like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that fancy stuff. And you know what? Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we all rise together. And I will see you all tomorrow. So have a great one. And bye-bye for now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Head over to see Pete Johns. He's on next. See ya.